Hello and welcome to a brand new season of Mouthguard, the main channel's premier debate boxing show. <laughs> this evening on Mouthguard, we shall be discussing the student government, Israel versus Palestine, who would win in a fight, Pirates of the Caribbean, and of course, the main channel's budget. Okay. Joining me tonight is Ben, the rambling fool Jarvella, also the production manager of WMEB. Nice to be here. Andrew Eldridge, the executive producer of the main channel. Thank you. Yes. And Tony Muscles Reeves, who is the news editor for the main campus. Thanks, John. <laughs> okay, let's just get right into our first topic. Student government, for those of you who don't know, um, they're the government of students. Um, <laughs> They've often been criticized for things like reckless spending, giving money to stupid things like cookie clubs, uh, accused of uh, just being in there to build their resumes. Let's see what you guys think. Anybody want to start this off? Andy, since you're a senator. Well, yeah, um, I am a senator on student government. Um, I've been there for the past year, since January. And I kind of went in there kind of just to watch over campus media, which had really no protection at the time. And I have to admit, I was there for self-interest, too. I was there to make sure that the main channel wasn't being kind of screwed over a little bit. Same thing with WMEB and the main campus. But as I've come to find out that, um, you know, student government does a lot of positive things for the campus um, concerning just a bunch of different topics around areas. And yeah, that's what I found out. I don't think anybody can doubt that student government is doing positive things, but I think the largest problem they have is they fail to recognize the importance of perception. And by and large, I don't think it's hard to argue against the fact that the perception of student government and the GSS as a whole is that it's just a resume building club. I mean, you could, it's akin to a frat, basically. There's a real respect issue. And there have been some positive changes in the last couple of weeks. I know uh, Senator Pomerel put up a bill hoping to make their, trans their uh, funding a little more transparent. And if that happens, great. You know, we have yet to see the results of that activity. But if, if it does open the doors a little bit more, that's a wonderful thing. But if that all remains to be seen, it's going to take a lot of time to see if they can clean the act up a little bit, at least in terms of perception. Just I, a minor thing. Yeah. The resolutions, they're kind of particular about that. It's um, in student senate, they just pass resolutions. Bills um, impact things. <laughs> Well, I mean, we, <laughs> yeah. well, we do pass resolutions, but I mean, the resolutions are meant to impact students. And I mean, a lot of, the, largely the stuff that we do is financial, but I mean, a lot of stuff also, I mean, I remember it was in particular, you had an article last year in the main campus. Couple of them. Couple of them. <laughs> that, that stated a lot of different stuff about student government. And one of them was, all they do is just approve budgets, which isn't the case. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous to think that all we do is just put, you know, you know, finish budgets. And it's also not a resume builder, too, because, I mean, as, as members of student government, you are representatives of the students. And if you, I mean, if you truly believe that, which I think I do, that's great. I mean, it does go well on a resume. I'm not going to lie. If you say you're a member of, you know, student government for, you know, a year. Although, aren't you also a member of the KKK? Is that going on your <laughs> resume? <laughs> I'm not a member of the KKK. <laughs> Okay, Not let that me... white supremacy organization. Sorry, I got my notes wrong. <laughs> it, it, like I said, though, it boils down in terms of perception. And if it's supposed to be a representative body, I think it would do a lot for the GSS as a whole to take some effort in making sure the student population knows that they're there to represent them. Right. Because when the student population, all they see, and this is a really bad example given what we're wearing, but when all they see is 30 people running around in suits all day long, this is not a group of people that but, they're going to associate with. This I, I just want to add, isn't it also true that suits make you look really awesome? <laughs> they do. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it's, um, it, it's not that, you know, we're just running around like this. I mean, it's, um, I lost my turn of thought. Sure. Well, um, there, there are a lot of good, organ there are a lot of good things that student government does, and I'll be the first to admit it. I know I've bagged on them a lot in the past, and 
I, I'm not ignoring the good things they do. There are a lot of organizations and a lot of activities on campus that would not exist without the aid of student government. GSS as it stands right now, though, is a PA nightmare because there's uh, severe if, if we, trust if, issues. If we had to worry about every single thing that the main campus or the main channel said about student government, then I mean, that, I mean, that's almost like you know, you know, playing to the play to the media. You know what I mean? Uh, to kind of how much of that do you have to do though? And I know, uh, and we and we did it this year. I mean, we I mean, you know, we we did that. I mean, in almost direct response to you. I mean, it's and that, and, and that and was it kind of sucks problem, too. I mean, a lot of it. I, I I pointed out what I felt were flaws and discrepancies in the policies of the GSS, and what and I got in good. turn was a lot of personal attacks. It didn't, and it, I don't I'm think, not going to name names, attacks. and it wasn't from you, but I got an inbox full of personal attacks every time I did this. And a lot of these people had Senator of such and such in yeah. their signature line. Okay, um, here's an idea. What if we force the senators to literally run around Senate while voting on resolutions? <laughs> like just running around the room in big circles. That would that like duck duck goose? Like you would be forced to have an adrenaline rush while doing all of this. Would that improve things or? No. Would would it spawn more <laughs> no. fights? No. It, I mean, well. I mean, like, I would mean, it encourage people to just like punch each other in the face? <laughs> That's why I'm on this show. I don't think um, sure punching people in the face solves anything, John. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a problem. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus. Uh, but I mean, just I mean, just to think. I mean, we we can't be. I mean, look at look at. If you look on a grander scale, look at the Bush administration. Do they care any about anything the newspapers say? No. Well, I heard they're very pro boxing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how much how much of that is because the Bush administration uses the media. I mean, I don't know if that's a fair thing to Shut say. Shut up! I challenge you to a debate. Finally, first one. Okay, Here we go. We'll be back in a minute. to be a perfect parent. When you adopt a child from foster care, just being there makes all the difference. Ready, set, debate! is a little scary? Then log on to LOC.gov and see how much fun it can be. The Library of Congress at LOC.gov. And we're back. Okay, um, we just had the first fight of the new season and I think what we learned is that uh, Ben knows more about GSS than Andy does and in the future <laughs> Andy should shut his mouth. <laughs> should, should I not run for Senate again? No, no, no. We need somebody in there to look after campus media. Right. Even God if they are the only one doing it. You. Okay, no and on to the club. Okay, <laughs> on to the next topic: Israel versus Palestine. It's a pretty big, hot red button issue. So, which which uh, group of people do you think God actually wants living in that area of land? Wow. Anyone, uh, what's up with you? <laughs> Who does God wants to live there? Oh, 
Oh, wow. Uh, how, how can I dodge this one? Um, oh, I, I think God loves everyone. And, um, <laughs> yeah, who does he love more? Like, who does he like love the most to give them the best land in the world? Oh, oh, I don't know if I call it the, the best, best land. land in the world. Oh, the yeah, best um, land in the world. <laughs> why would they be fighting over it so much Rocks if it weren't? Swamp. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you know, somebody. Does anybody have absolutely anything to say about either Israel or Palestine? I'm gonna take a stand, and I'll be the first one to go up there. I'm saying it belongs to the Israelis. I'm saying there was never a country called Palestine. It's always belonged to somebody else. This is just the latest incarnation. You want to start talking about a Palestinian state? We can talk, but the land was never actually theirs. Well, was it, was it, didn't, wasn't there a country called Palestine before World War no, II? It was parts of a bunch it was, of other It was the, the, the region called Palestine belonged to the British Empire. OK. Before that, so, we're talking so the Ottoman Empire. So were Palestinians living there before? Before who? Jews. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this is part of the argument. If you want to trace back the biblical, oh, okay, beginnings. Uh, I, 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 I'm not well informed about this issue. I'll be uh, up front. Want to uh, make up a stance then? Yeah, I love the Palestinians. Okay. I, 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 I you know, me and Tony are both Arafat supporters. Um, even though he's dead, we still hold him in our hearts, close to Allah. Are you talking about uh, the Arafat T-shirt? Because I just think it looks cool. Okay. <laughs> well, do you sleep with that picture of Arafat next to your pillow? Yeah. Um, no, I, I think that. They were there in recent history first, and I think they should have some sort of a state or some sort of, of area they can call their own. I mean, they have, their, they have uh, holy sites there. I mean, and they, they were living there. I mean, do they deserve to get kicked off or they deserve to live under someone? Well, and, who, and that's, that's who, part of the problem they, I mean, is when, when it was elect, formed. Someone they didn't choose to have there? No, it, when it was formed, it, it was a UN vote that put Israel where it is right now. Oh, I mean, and it's, you, it's a, by and far a... It was a of, sweep of, in the uh, UN. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you know, it's, it's everybody supports the Jews over the Palestinians because nobody wants the Palestinians. But the, the Jewish people just said, get out of World War II. <laughs> there was well, a even, but even when the nation was formed, the, the new Jewish state, hey, we've been here for 100 years. Everything's, you know, we can continue to cooperate. But this doesn't have to get ugly. This doesn't have to get violent. We'll just, we'll figure this out. We can do this peacefully. The next day, 11 countries marched in. And that wasn't nice. Okay. <laughs> I just want to I want to put this cool. question out to Andy and Tony. Would your positions be any different if there were like this really really nice cave that we could send all the Palestinians to? Like really nice cave. It's got TiVo, like an <laughs> awesome water fountain. No. I, I, I see the And Saturday <laughs> is their sunlight day too. John, that's horrible. All right. All right. <laughs> if we, if we could airlift everyone's holy sites to two other locations, you know, that that yeah. are reminiscent of the previous holy site. <laughs> well, I think we should give them a better place. Like, both oh yeah, them. yeah. I mean, it's, it's the desert, you know. Uh, what would you suggest is a better place? Um, maybe a couple Caribbean islands. Rhode maybe. Island. I was gonna say Rhode Island, but <laughs> that'd be pretty good. Wow, which brings up another point. Who actually cares about Rhode Island? I, you know, Rhode Island's pretty nice. And here I am, something. Uh, Have you been there? I've been. I've been on their interstate. Yeah. Not yeah. impressed. I just what? want to remind you, Andy, that they are the smallest state land-wise. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, size doesn't matter. That's what Andy tells everybody. <laughs> I don't tell everybody that. So let's get on to the next what topic. Was, Pirates topic. of the Caribbean. I know for a fact none of you have seen it, but I'm nope. pretty sure we've all heard someone talk about it. So, and yeah, it grossed $100 billion. International? $100 billion? Yep. Billion. Actually, from Bangor alone, 100 billion internationally in <laughs> that, Bangor. That makes no sense. That sounds like a made up. Okay. 100 billion? Why does it make no sense? Billion. I don't believe it. One Travis, billion. Travis, you want to fight over this? Yes. I don't <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit CyberTipline.com. 
Okay, for those of you that are very confused, I want to introduce Travis Barassa, this show's producer. Him and Tony. <laughs> him and Tony are going to be debating whether or not Pirates of the Caribbean made $100 billion internationally. Ready, set, debate! Come on, Tony! Come on, Tony! Oh! All punches. Come on, Tony! Come on! Oh, come on! Here we go! Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think they've landed a punch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on, Tony! Woo! Come on! Here we go, Tony, come on! Oh! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh, that's good. Awesome guy. I heard about this company dumping toxins in local rivers, and I called their executives to say stop. But they were too busy counting profits while the rivers were being destroyed, birds and fish are dying, and the local kids are getting cancer. So I organized a huge protest, and we actually got the company shut down. But now half the town's unemployed, and the kids are twice as sick since they can't get health care, since their parents lost the insurance they had when they worked for the company who dumped all the toxins in the first place. again Go ahead. okay <laughs> and we're back um okay John <laughs> looks like Pirates of the Caribbean did not gross a hundred billion dollars <laughs> it's like regular boxing it's fixed hey this isn't, okay this isn't um, no World Cup Pele you know okay I'm sorry I, I can't accept a bribe so um <laughs> <laughs> Let, I'm just gonna take your money and say it did in fact gross one hundred billion dollars. I'm can't sorry. We just call it right down the middle. It, <laughs> like fifty billion. I mean, okay. Okay. 50 it was billion. it was a very close fight, but <laughs> it was either over or under fifty billion. Yeah, I, it was right hovering around hundred billion, but okay. And on to our last topic of today, um, the main channel. As you, the audience, may or may not be aware, we did recently get a budget. And uh, this is the first year ever that we've ever actually been given money for this channel, um, all thanks to Andrew Eldridge right here. Now, <laughs> now, does the channel deserve this budget? Yes, it does. And I'm going to give you four reasons why. OK. We, we can uh, have them now. We're, we're working on number one. Um, yeah. Number one, uh, we got classic programming like the show Mouthgar. <laughs> <laughs> number two, um, we're going to have, uh, we have awesome people who, uh, who work here and who are volunteering here. We're going to have some awesome equipment and we got awesome sets and we've got awesome advisors too. And I think that, yeah. Okay. It's pretty much everything so, is just awesome now because of money. Okay. So it's like awesome money advisor and awesome volunteers, they didn't exist before money? Um, no, they did. They did. It's, um, it's just they're more awesome now because we've got awesome equipment. Okay. And we're going to have awesome shows too, such as a news program, which is going to be slightly pretty cool. Slightly. Right. Would you say it's going to be better or worse than the news people get from the main campus? It's going to be better. Um, it's going to be much better. How is that humanly possible? How is that humanly possible? Of, uh, hello, television obviously gets more audiences than the uh, newspaper. That's, that's not better. Yeah, well, it's more popular. It's now, more popular. is it going to be more I, entertaining I, I, than I, I, view, I, view, I view popularity, you know, it's like oh. anything. If you look good, then you're obviously better than people. Oh, yeah. So like, popularity does matter. Like you Pirates know? of the Caribbean, too? Or... Uh, <laughs> Hundred billion, I heard. Yeah, it turns out it's actually the best movie ever made. Yes, yeah. because it's made the most amount of money. Exactly. Yep. Well, uh, geez, that's a moral dilemma. 
That's that's correct. <laughs> Nothing made two hundred billion. Yes, it that, did. Okay, you're gonna go at it again. <laughs> okay, Tony, you've already used your challenge. No, but I, I, I have I do have a belief that one day that the camp, the campus television station and the campus newspaper will be able to work together in forming a valuable news program. I think that. Is TV TV has a little MEB bit more to offer be because it's wanking new. in the corner. I don't okay. know what we do down there. Well, no, I mean you like guys don't do news. <laughs> Not really, no. I mean that I'm, I'm talking about news. I mean you want to talk about music? Well, you guys are doing do a music show too. Yeah, mm -hmm. music oh, videos. We'll see. see. Now you're stealing my audience. All right, you know what? The music at the no, main campus sucks, audience. guys. You can have that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna claim about main campus. I, I I saw that awesome John Mayer review, and then the last article that was a, uh, I mean that was a, uh, titillizing. <laughs> Elating. <laughs> Titillating. <Yeah. laughs> Titillizes the act of feeling. Um, a cow's teat. A cow's teat. <laughs> that that's the, that's the thing. I don't okay, know. let's get off your tit obsession. <laughs> okay. Well, any, anyways, I I, um, do, I do like the main campus because you 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 can't tell um, what people are like the act, the exact the exact emotions as you can see. Not to brag about my recent quote, but I have to mention it about the LARPing community. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you can uh, restate your quote here on TV. I will not be giving my money to wizards and guilds concerning the live action role playing. Community. Okay, and that's something we can all agree with. Yes! <laughs> and please don't cast a spell on me. <laughs> They're going to cast a <laughs> class three mage spell on you. <laughs> Okay. They're gonna get warlocks, teach your brain. Hey, John, uh, I, I gotta be somewhere, can we? Yeah, that's. <laughs> get out. Okay, but to wrap up on my own volition, okay, what we learned today. Um, first off, I think Andy learned something about um, the student government. And what did you learn, Andy? That, uh, I don't know, Ben beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Ben knows more, I shouldn't be in Senate. That's right. I don't know if we're going to be able to show this. What? what? I'm the executive producer of this show. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And t Tony learned something about the bu the uh, what Pirates of the Caribbean made. And what was that? A hundred billion dollars. Yep. Billion. I said billion. Pronounce it. It's with a B. Say it. Say it with a B, Tony. Billion. <laughs> OK. With a B. And lastly. Last week, we learned that the main channel is the greatest channel on the face of the earth and deserves every penny we get. I'll give him that. I'll give him That's that. That's a wrap. Yes. Hey, thanks for coming on. No worries. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Tony. Ah. Uh.